everyone and welcome back to another fun video. In today's video we will be doing a lot of cleaning as well as doing a lot of decorating for fall. I'm super excited to share this video with you and if you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're joining us today and hopefully this gives you some ideas um, or just if you want to just watch and get motivated um, to get some cleaning done. Now the cleaning in today's video isn't going to be extensive or anything, but just wiping down surfaces, um, getting floors cleaned and things as we go along before we redecorate into fall. We are starting out here in the kitchen and this year's decorating for fall and probably Christmas um, as well is going to be very minimal. I'm trying to just keep it very simple so that I don't have a lot of things to pack away. Um, just trying to keep it easy on myself this year. We are expecting a baby this winter, so the easier that I can keep things, the better. Um, but I still do like to decorate for the seasons, so I thought I would just sprinkle it in here and there. Um, as long as I keep it minimal, I think we'll be good. So for our centerpiece here in the dining room, um, I just did a simple, just kind of a fall little bouquet. Um, I'm also trying to just keep my colors more just neutral, lighter tones. It's just a little bit more how I like to decorate. Um, and then I also put a runner down the center of the dining room table. And now we're just moving to the countertops. I'm just getting these wiped down really well before we start just adding in a few little seasonal um, decor pieces here and there. And I really did not go out and spend a lot um, on fall decorations this year. I did pick up a few things, but I'm basically using all the things that I had from previous years. Um, and the things that I'm not using, I'm going to go through and just kind of get rid of some things, things that are just not really my style anymore, um, or things that I just haven't used for a couple years. Um, I will, once I get everything decorated, I'm gonna go through and just kind of purge and yeah, donate some things and yeah, just deal with the extras. Gonna go ahead and get my oil diffuser going with some harvest spice this morning um, this just makes me think of fall and it just gets you in the spirit um, for decorating And there are also several pieces um, like some of this word art and a few things that are actually from my Etsy shop. So whatever I can, I will link for you in the description box um, if you want to check it out and look at it a little bit closer. And anything else that I got that I can link, I will try to link that for you um, down below. And now moving on to just clearing the countertops over on the other side of the sink. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher and get that going. And then we can start over on that side. So how many of you decorate for fall, Thanksgiving? Um, maybe you're more of a Halloween person. I personally don't decorate for Halloween. Um, but yeah, have you decorated yet? Um, or are you planning to yet? Yep. 
And now we are taking a little break for a coffee drink. Um, so this is just my cold brew and I made some uh, pumpkin spice syrup. And then I'm just adding some froth milk on top. And I do add a little shot of some salted caramel syrup as well. Just kind of adds a little bit of flavor. Um, this is so good this time of year. Usually not a big pumpkin spice kind of person, but um, it does make me think of fall when I drink it this time of year. And this is my glowing cup. It glows in the dark, the little leaves. And I will also try to put that recipe in the description box for you for the pumpkin spice syrup in case you want to try it out as well. And here we're just trying to decide what kind of pumpkins we want here. I wasn't quite sure what looks right, um, but then I decided on this and then ended up changing it completely different later. Here you can see um, my little pumpkin that I put there afterward. Moving on to clean the sink up a little bit, I'm just putting in some of my dish soap as well as sprinkling in some baking soda. And then I'll finish it off with adding um, a couple drops of lemon. And this just helps in cleaning as well as just makes it smell nice and fresh. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. And this always gets my sinks really nice and shiny and clean.
Here we are with the kitchen. Everything is nice and cleaned, decorated a little bit for fall. And now moving on into the living room, um, we're going to start over here on the back side of the living room, cleaning off my little desk area and just clearing off things that I won't need on there. Um, and then we'll start decorating over here a little bit. Now this table runner I had out in the dining room, I think last year, um, but I decided to move it in here just to add a little bit um, of fall decorations over here on the desk. I'm not usually a doily type of person, but somehow when I seen this, it just reminded me of fall and I think it just added a little bit to this side table here and we'll add one on this table as well to match um, and it just kind of finished it off. I'm just starting here on the pillows and I'm just laying some pillow covers on top of the existing pillows just so I can kind of get an idea of what it would look like um, before I change them all out and then once I decided I like how it looked I'm going to go ahead and get these pillow covers all washed as well as the covers that were on the pillows um, already just get those all nice and clean Moving over to our bookshelf area, Chloe was in a very silly mood and she was kind of, yeah, photobombing here. But anyways, um, she was having fun kind of doing her own decorating and helping me. 
So we're just going to add in a few pieces here on the shelves, um, kind of using some pieces that we had already and just adding in a few new ones. And now is time for cleanup and I'm just going through and kind of separating different into different piles. Um, so one is just simply trash, things that um, are just need, needing to be thrown away. And then I have another pile of like for donating things that are still um, very like usable, um, that are still nice that I can just donate or give away. And then the third, um, what I'm putting back in the bin is just things that I think I would use uh, maybe a different year, things that are just, that I'm just not using this year. So here we have a couple piles here. It's just everyday decor that just needs to be put away again. And then over here we have our donate pile, just a few things that I'm just not using anymore or have gotten and just never used them. And then here in the box is things that I will just put away. And then once fall is over, I'll put the rest of my um, decor in that box as well. So now we just need to get all this stuff put away. Um, the everyday decor here, I'm just putting in this box, taking it downstairs, getting it packed away, and then I will put the rest of the donate pile um, just in a bag to um, take donate somewhere. The pillow covers were all done, cleaned, and ready to go. So we're gonna put these on um, our pillows and see how it looks. All right, so I am about wore out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it doesn't take much to get me wore out these days. Um, so we kind of got some things finished here. Um, we have a pillows, we have our pillows out now. Um, just kind of some finishing decor pieces. So there's a few other things that I wanted to do in here yet. One of them is changing um, 
the motto here and I have a picture that I wanted to put up there have it downloaded and everything I just need to get it printed and there's a few other photos that I got off of Etsy that I can't wait to hang up just kind of bringing the fall um, in on the walls as well um, so yeah looking forward to having you know a few cozy lights in here um, we're going to put new batteries in those candles and then put new batteries in the candles that you see there and as well um, I want to get a few faux candles for these um, that way there's a little bit of light over in this corner as well uh, brought my plants in from the porch now so those will be in here for the winter but I will be back in just a couple seconds and we'll finish up this living room get the floors all cleaned and then we can do the full reveal once I had my photos all printed, this one is the one that is from Etsy, the bigger one. And then the rest of these are ones that I just kind of created um, on my own that I will be hanging up. And this one here is kind of a falling leaves. Um, it's in two different pictures. So I figured it would look good in these, just these simple black frames. Um, that way the focus would be on the leaves. So we're going to put these... Um, two photos in here, kind of line them up and see how they look. And I thought these two um, photos would be perfect if you want to add some word art on top, like cut out some a uh, little quote with your Cricut and put it on top of the glass um, it would be perfect to do that now these two I wasn't quite sure which frames to use for these so I got several uh, wasn't quite sure if I wanted to use the white one or here's a more of a thicker frame maybe that one would look good for one of these and then uh, the last frame is a bigger frame but it has a mat in it so I'm gonna kind of try to figure out where I want these photos um, and then which ones look best on the wall where they go um, so this white one will be hanging out here in the kitchen so I thought the white would probably do look a little bit better on this darker wall it would stand out a little bit more so we're gonna do this one for out here in the kitchen just a simple print here and then for the next one I decided to go with the one that had the mat in it and this one will be hung up in the living room and I just thought this bigger frame um, would hang a little bit better or look a little bit better where I had wanted to place it so we're just taking taping down the photo then we can get it hung up and now I'm just using this little painter's tape hack for um, getting the nail holes exactly where I need them. Putting the painter's tape on the back underneath the um, where the nails need to go. And then you can see I have it marked here so I know exactly how far apart to put the nails. And I can hang it up on the wall here and then make sure it's straight got my tape measure out make sure it's straight and before I hang it and then I just put the frame on top to make sure it's where I want it hung I did decide to move it up just a little bit um, I thought it would look better a little bit further up and then I can go ahead and just put in the nails into the wall and take off the painters tape and the frame will hang perfectly So there is that one. That one is hung up now. And then out here in the kitchen here is where I wanted the other one. And I just switched out the frames um, from what was there. And then the other two falling leaves photos um, I wanted back here at the back of the hallway. So we're going to get those hung up. And I did decide to just leave them. I can always add a little bit of word art if I want to a little bit later, but for now I'm going to just leave them and see how I like them. 
Now for the last photo, uh, we're gonna hang it here. And I do wish I would have gotten a larger size. I thought this would be big enough, um, but it does seem a little bit small. Maybe it's just because I'm used to having bigger photos here, I don't know. Um, but I really love the photo and it looks really pretty in fall. Out in the kitchen, I did decide to go ahead and change this little pedestal into a black one and it's a little bit shorter as well. Just to change it out a little bit, um, I thought the darker color would maybe look good out here. And I can always change it back if I don't like how it looks. And then over beside the coffee, I did go ahead and get new um, syrup dispensers. I am loving these. I just cut out some labels um, for the flavors. Um, and your coffee syrup pumps will fit on here, um, or at least mine did. And I get, I think it's just the regular sized pumps that come in your um, normal syrup bottles. So I was so impressed that those fit on there. And now just adding all the batteries into the candles. Here are the new faux candles that I got for over here. And these came four in a pack, four different sizes. So I need to just figure out which ones I want here on these uh, candle holders. And then you can just switch these on to a timer and then they'll be on for I think six hours and then they'll come on uh, the next day at the exact same time. Hey. All right, and now just for some final cleanup, I'm going to go ahead and get the floor all swept and then we'll mop and then show you the final reveal of the kitchen and the living room. And I am so glad I decided to just keep everything simple, not go all over, out over the top with uh, fall decorations. And sometimes even just changing a few colors in your house can make it feel a little bit more cozy and fall-like. Um, just adding some fall colors into maybe your pillow covers or your throw blankets and things like that will just add kind of that festive and seasonal decor. All right, and here is the final reveal, starting out here in the kitchen. And here is a floral arrangement that I just put together um, to put up here. And once this is done, gone, I will just kind of put it back how it was. But I thought these colors were so bright and just added a little pop up here on the shelf.
All right, so that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe got some uh, fall decorating ideas or just enjoyed watching. And I will leave you with that and I will see you next time. Bye.